ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸੋ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਆਮ ਟੂ ਵਿਸਾਕੀ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ ਨਾਈ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਟੂ ਆਲ ਦਾ ਸੰਗਤ ਫਾਰ ਟਰਨਿੰਗ ਅਪ ਐਂਡ ਥੋਸ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਚਿੰਗ ਲਾਈਵ ਐਜ਼ ਵੈਲ ਸੋ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਵਾਚਿੰਗ ਲਾਈਵ ਔਰ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਹੇਅਰ ਰਾਈਟ ਨਾਓ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਹਾਊ ਟੂ ਸੈਟ ਅਪ ਸੈਟ ਯੂ ਸੈਲਫ ਅਪ ਫਾਰ ਦਾ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ ਇਟਸ ਕਵਾਇਟ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਜਸਟ ਗੋ ਔਨ ਟੂ ਗੂਗਲ ਟਾਈਪ ਇਨ ਕਾਹੂ ਡਾਟ ਆਈ ਟੀ ਯਾ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਯਾ ਟਰਨ ਆਫ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਯਾ ਕਾਹੂ be taken on to a website where you just go type in the pin 6702310 and then just give your username obviously don't call with silly names um and we can start i already see some silly names on the screen but i'm not going to give them the energy or the time i'll, th- I'll look at the normal names right like tripti kaur i love sukhdi oh that's a nice name <laughs> that's another city one to be fair uh, happy vasakhi Behrupia Arjun Singh is that you Arjun Singh was you were by arch again we were Arjun right? so how do you wait a few more minutes so everyone to join uh, because i think on the live we've got just under 100 people watching so i'm guessing that hopefully most of them are joining thank you to Hukum Singh i used your quiz but i just added loads of questions on it and edited it so that saved me a lot of time earlier <laughs> we don't mind there's a Sukhdeep my hero that's another one that's come on Mota Singh right so car is coming as well so there's all these names hopefully they play good as well yeah, everybody are just entered cooker has come as well right is this biadvi <laughs> i hope this is not i want to say this is biadvi right we're just learning in an educational fun way um so i want to say this is um art <laughs> now we got some football jokes coming in as well right but i don't watch football anymore so i wouldn't know um how many people we got we got 82 We we'll wait for it to get to 100 which should be soon then we're going to start so sorry if you haven't is anybody everybody got the phone out you playing in teams you can't play as long as you got internet tk voice maybe join in with someone if you want to you can play together and then we can start it's very simple there's 36 questions don't ask me as 36 i've run out of questions so we've got 36 questions in total which should be done just after 8 o'clock um there's multiple choice questions there's um puzzle questions where you got a drag and drop and click select there's number questions there's typing questions there's loads of different questions okay so there's a good variety it starts off easy as usual and then it get more difficult as well i don't think i put any tricky questions in this one that's going to trick you out like the last one but we'll find out afterwards um you know when we start to play okay there's someone called blacky that's an interesting name that's trying uh last place mema 2 so there's a mema 1 spider man sugdeep seven as all tika chalo we got over 100 people i think we start you guys ready no okay you're not ready tika kids with technology i thought you guys would be good for be quick what he signed in you guys ready for fun what's your name saying on the username Oh, Tika, I thought you were Sukhdeep Stavon, I was going to say. Tika. Spoody man, Marcel G, someone's Marcel is playing. It's good to know. Okay. Satanam. <laughs> Someone else doing it. Right? Tika, I think we've got, we've got Dawan playing. I think, I just think Sigs in here are leaving, are rejoining. I'm just taking the mic. Right? But I'm not going to entertain this anymore, right? I think we should start because you've, It's nice you keep joining but hopefully you can join once the quiz goes live. You guys ready? Only one person's ready. Everybody ready? Can someone left for Jakarta they will start. Sat Sriya Kal. So this is a Vasaki quiz is based upon Vasaki which is taking place over this weekend. So all the questions are related to Vasaki. Okay, question number 1 is a practice question to make sure you guys know how to play the game. True or false? Today is Vasaki. I know it's an easy question. There's no points. Okay, you don't get no points for this question. It's just to see if you guys know how to use your phones basically. Okay? So true or false? Today is Vasaki. Okay? Hopefully you guys get it correct. Each question is 30 seconds long. The more difficult questions are 1 minute long. Okay? So is today Vasaki or not? Let's see what you guys have put. Please don't cheat. Please don't help each other. May the best man or woman win. 
Okay, so the answer is false. No, today is not Vasaki. We celebrated Vasaki yesterday. Next question, please. One more practice question. Oh, who's in first or no one? Because there's no points. Tika, this is a slider question. So you have to slide the question, the, the number to get the right date, basically, okay? So what is the date today? I know it's a very easy question just to get practice. Slide it across to what number you think it is for today and then you'll see if you get the answer correct or not. There's going to be quite a few slider questions in the quiz. So make sure you know how to use it. The closer you get to the correct answer, the more points you get. The quicker you answer a question correctly, the more points you get. So if you take your time, you're going to end up getting no points anyway. So make sure you answer the questions as quick as possible. So today is the... Oh, does anybody know what the day is today? Anybody know? Oh, maybe it's 20? 14, 14. Yeah, the answer is today is the 14th. Okay, well done. Today's the 14th. Now we're going to start the quiz with the actual questions where you're going to get more quickly. I'm deep sing. Sit down. Oh, we'll see Mata take first as well. Right? <laughs> we'll wait for Aaron Deep Singh, yeah? Even on the live stream. If you're waiting, it's because someone just walked into the bar side now. Yeah, no pressure. Right? Quickly log in. Should we give you time to log in as well? Okay, then. Jello, we'll wait. We'll wait 20 seconds. Just quickly log in, bro. Uh, and then VG can play as well. There are all these questions. There are no points in them. So this next question is um is got points to it. So, you know, you could lose just because you didn't answer one question. You know where to go, innit? Kahoot.it. There's a pin on the screen. It's 670 something something. Is it the bottom? Oh, 670 You in? 670 And then enter your name. And then we're going to start. Okie dokie. Let's click. Next question. First question of the quiz, are you guys ready? True or false? Vasaki is the sick new year. So again, we start to go off nice and easy. True or false? Remember, the quicker you answer it, the more points you get. Is Vasaki the sick new year? Happy new year, guys. Giving you a clue right there. Is it the sick new year? True or false? It'd be so good if we had some music, but obviously in the bar side. But the Kahoot music's too sick. Right? So... Is it the sick new year or not today or yesterday on the day of Asaki? The answer is false. Okay? Who put yes? <laughs> it's, not, it's not the sick new year. Okay? I can't say anymore because there's more questions going forward. Someone I can see on the Bibi side going like this. Ouch. I hurt myself doing that. Right? So you can wonder what's going on. Okay. So R Ravi Jodh Singh and is this Biyadvi? Is the question beyond the B or you saying this quiz now is beyond the B, okay? Next question, please, okay? Let's go. Question number two. What is a sick greeting? When you meet another sick, would you say, Sasri Kaal? Yo! That's what I said to Karan Veer. Okay, da? Oh, why he go to Jika Khalsa, why he go to Jiki Fateh? When you see another sick, what should you say to them? I think a lot of us will probably say, yo, right? But I don't know. Maybe it's correct, maybe it's wrong. What is a sick greeting? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll find out in a couple more seconds. What is a sick greeting? It is... Yes. Why go to Jika Khalsa? Why go to Jika Khalsa? A time people put Sas Dikal, which is completely wrong. Because it's not Sas, it's Sata. Right? And as a funny thing that a lot of Guru Sikhs will say, Sas Dikal, Sas means a mother-in-law, Kal means death. If you're greeting someone saying, I hope your mother-in-law, dies, which is not a good way to greet someone. Tika is Sat Siddhiyakal, and that is usually done at the end of a Jakarta. Okay, next question. Let's go. Name the item in this image, and it's not the sky. Okay, so giving you a big clue there. Name the item in this image. Is it a Chaur Sahib, a holy flag, Nishan Sahib, or exalted in sign? Well, that's meant to me. Right? So what is the name of this item on the screen? Again, I know the easy questions, maybe, maybe not. But they will start to get more difficult as we go on into the quiz. So the answer to this question is this a Nishan Sahib. Okay, and as you realize everything that's related to the Guru, we put a Sahib on the end of it. Nishan Sahib, Chaur Sahib, so on. It's a Nishani. It reminds everybody that they can come to this area 
where they find dig, dig, fate. They'll be protected, they'll be given food. Why? So whether that's a gondola sahib or even a guru Sikh's home, there may be Nishan sahib outside, so that you can come here and a guru ka Sikh lives here and they do your seva and they protect you. Next question, please. Okay, ooh, seek to inspire back in and they're in front. Okay, in what year did the story of Asaki take place? In what year? Obviously, we're talking about the Sakhi of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. It's a slider. Anywhere between 1665 to 1720, in what year did the story of a Sakhi take place that we all hear about that we've been talking about? Right? Hopefully, you guys know. In what year? Make sure you press submit as well. You have to click enter. Okay? You pick your number and you click enter. The closer you get to the right answer, the more points you get. And the quicker you answer it, the more points you get. The answer should be 16 something. Sixteen ninety nine. Okay? Sings like go get in there. Hanji? Yeah, so sixteen ninety-nine. Yep, so 120 we've got that correct. Hanji, so over three hundred years ago. Three hundred interestingly this year, three hundred and twenty five years since um Kasa Panth was made Paragat, right? Okie dokie. Abhishek. Where's Abhishek? Smashing a geezer. Well done. Okay. Next question. Pick the best definition for the word guru. Best. I said, okay. Tip top. Number one. Okay. What is the definition of a guru? Is it a teacher, a scholar, a human, or the spiritual enlightener? Ah, which one? The best definition of the word guru. Okay. Now, you can have multiple answers potentially, but we want the best answer. What is the best way to define the word guru okay so the answer is green the spiritual enlightener oh some of you guys put blue red sorry but teacher right so again if you break the word guru up guru means haneda darkness ru means light so somebody who takes us from darkness to light again the spiritual enlightener not teacher that's like my mass teacher right but this is someone more than just a teacher that is spiritual enlightener. Hanji, next question, please. When is Vasaki celebrated? In which month that is referring to, right? When is Vasaki celebrated? Is it in January, August, November, or April? Now, that is a bit too of an easy question. I do not know why I left that in the quiz. Okay? But to be fair, I was preparing this today. So, please, even now, before we started, God is like, hurry up, right? So when is Osaki celebrated? Please give us your answer in terms of which month. It would be better if we did this in a different language. Like maybe the Punjabi months. Hanji, thank God. One person put November. What the? Satan arm. Okay? So it's not November. Maybe they mixed it up with like, you know, or they got a weird definition of Osaki in the head. Okay. Seek to inspire in the lead. And is this Biyadabi is in number two? Okay. Next question. The Sikh New Year falls in which month? So again, the Sikh New Year. Okay? This is not talking about Vasaki. This is talking about the Sikh New Year. In what month does the Sikh New Year fall? Vaisak, Kattaka, Chet or January? So you've got a bit of mixture of Punjabi and English there. In which month is this? Oh, I'm just so confused. We were talking about the Sikh New Year earlier. Talking about Vasaki. What do you guys think? When was the Sikh New Year? Is it in Visak, Jet, November, October, Katak? Okay, so most of you guys have got it correct. It's in Jet. So Jet was last month. Starts in mid March, the first month in the Sikh calendar. As per Gurbani, so Jet Govind Aradhya. Uh, Guru Arjun Deji says. Okay, dokie. Next question, please. For six, Visak is celebrated because of the Harvest Festival. The Punjabi New Year, the birth of Khalsa, or the beginning of the Sikh New Year. Now these are very repetitive, I apologize for that. But after this they will not keep talking about Vasaki, maybe. Even the whole quiz is based on Vasaki, right? So what do you guys think? Why is Vasaki celebrated by Sikhs, okay? Not by Punjabis, not by anybody else, by Sikh. Yes. Mainly because it's the birth of the Khalsa, not 
a harvest festival. That is if you're just talking about Punjabis. Okie dokie. Next question, please. Type answer. Who created the Khalsa? Type your answer. I'll give you a clue, not to make it too complicated. It's not Vahiguru. Because that's a technical correct answer that you can give. But let's not put Vahiguru. Anything else? Who created the Khalsa? Any ideas? And I'll give you a clue. Don't put Vahiguru because that's a technically correct answer. But um, obviously if you put that, then you're going to get the answer wrong. Who created the Khalsa? You're going to type your answer out. Make sure your spelling is good. Because they're quite funny. Hanji. The answer is Guru Gobind Singh Ji. So, okay. Majority of people got it correct. Over 111 people got that correct. So well done to you guys. Next question. So like we said in 1699, Guru Sahib Ji created the Khalsa. Next question. What does Khalsa translate to? What is the translation of Khalsa? Is it pure power, strength, or compassion? So if you were to translate Khalsa, the simple basic definition of a Khalsa, what does it translate to? Pure power, strength, or compassion? Right? So if you look in Mahan Kosh right now, if you type into a Khalsa, you'll get this one definition straight away. Mahan Kosh being like the main dictionary for all of Sikh vocabulary, you can say. Yes, the answer is pure. So Khalsa, Khalas, Shud, pure. Khalsa refers to or is defined as the pure ones. Next question, please. Okie dokie. This is more than one correct answer. Which of the following Panjbani are from Sidi Guru Dasam Granth Sahib Ji? Okay, this is basically referring to the words of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. Which of these prayers that are written here, Japji Sahib, Jab Sahib, Ananda Sahib, and Chopra Sahib, which of these are Guru Gobind Singh Ji's Baniya? Okay, there's more than one correct answer. And these are the four of the five prayers that a Sikh will read every single morning. Okay, so a Sikh would generally read Panj Baniya as a minimum every single morning. And these are four of the five prayers. The other one is called Tuat Parasad. Um, so right here. Okay, okay. So most of you guys got it correct. So Japji Sahib and Jab Sahib were written by Guru Gobind Singh Ji. Japji Sahib was written by who? Guru Nanda Ji and, and uh, Anand Sahib. Guru Amar Dashi. Tiki Ji. Correct. Next question, please. Guess the image. What is in this image right now coming up on the screen? Is it a Palki Sahib? Is it a Ramallah Sahib? Is it Chandoa Sahib? Or is it Chaur Sahib? Now remember, I do like to trick people. There could be a trick coming, or there could be no trick. So what is this item on the screen right now? Is it a Palki Sahib, a Ramallah Sahib, a Chandoa Sahib, or a Chaur Sahib? These are all things that are associated with Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Okay? Zurava Singh, stop helping Abhishek. <laughs> Abhishek, stop cheating. Okay, so the answer is Chandoa Sahib. There's no Palki Sahib in there. Palki Sahib is, you could say, this is like a Palki Sahib uh, that Guru Sahib Ji is sitting in. Ramallah Sahib are the, the you could say, the Kapara that's put on top of Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Chandoa Sahib is what is hanging on top. The Chandoa and Chaur Sahib is what the young Khalsa is doing over here. Tika Ji, so the answer was Chandoa Sahib. Who's in first? Okay, PK, smiley face. All right? And then we are the bees in second. Okay? When did Guru Gobind Singh Ji establish the Khalsa Pant? Where, sorry, not when. I'm starting to panic. <laughs> the same question 10 times. Where was the Khalsa Pant started? Was it Hemkot Sahib, Hazur Sahib, Patna Sahib, or Nampur Sahib? Where did the Khalsa Pant become established? Any ideas? Remember guys, the quicker you answer it, more points you're gonna get. Where did this happen? Yes, majority guys got it correct. It was at Sidi Anampur Sahib. Patna Sahib is where they took Prakash, where they came on the Sahib. Hazur Sahib is where they left their body. Hemkot Sahib was from a previous form of theirs. Right? So they're all linked to Guru Gobind Singh Ji, interestingly. Hanji, next question. 
Who was the first member of the Panch Pyare to give their head to Guru Gobind Singh Ji? Who was the first of the Panch Pyare? Was it Pai Tarim Singh Ji, Pai Himmat Singh Ji, Pai Sahib Singh Ji, Pai Daya Singh Ji? When we hear the story, who was the first of the five to give their head to the Guru? Any ideas? When Guru Sahib Ji stood on the stage and asked for a head, who stood up first out of the five that stood in total? Hmm. The answer is Pai Daya Singh Ji. So correct? Then Pai Tarim Singh Ji. Then the next kind of vary in different sources. But generally that was the order. Pai Daya Singh Ji, Pai Tarim Singh Ji, Pai Himmel Singh Ji, Pai Mokri Singh Ji, Pai Saib Singh Ji. Then stood up afterwards. Next question please. Leaderboard has not changed. This is a puzzle question. You get double points. Why? You get more points for this. Job and drop in each spot and then click enter. Place the Panch Pyare in order as you read in the Ardas. So when we say their names, in which order do they come? Okay, place it from top to bottom. Who comes first? Who comes last? And then click enter. Okay, if you don't click enter, you get zero points. Okay, you got one whole minute. You got 40 seconds left. Put them in order. If you've already done it, you're going to get so many points. You get double, 2,000. Okay. So place them in order. Was it by Him and Singh Ji first? Was it by Mokam Singh? By Daya Singh Ji? Dharam Singh Ji? What do you guys think? Place them in order from who is mentioned first to who is mentioned last in the Ardas. That kind of rhymes as well at the same time. Okay, so last 10 seconds. Sorry? What do you mean fifth? You can only have four names, sorry, I couldn't have five names. Oh, I was put five. It only gives you four options. So one name is missing. So it'll be Pai Daya Singh Ji, Pai Taram Singh Ji, Pai Himmat Singh Ji, and then Pai Mohokam Singh Ji. And 44 people got that wrong. Okay? So, Chalo, it doesn't matter if you don't know the order. The main thing is that you know the names. But if you ever to do Ardas, in some Ardasa that Guru Sikhs will do, they mention the names. They say Pai Daya Singh Ji, Pai Taram Singh Ji, Pai Mohokam, Pai Himmat Singh Ji, Pai Mohokam Singh Ji, Pai Sahib Singh Ji. And then Char Sahib are there as well. Tika? So, oh, Ar Arj, Arj is in, front, in first. What is the Guru Sikh playing? So they're obviously going to be playing something. What is this person playing in this image? Is it a big tabla? Is it a tol? Is it a drum set? Or is it a nagara? What is this Guru Sikh playing in this image? Thank you to Hukam Singh for finding the image. And creating a question. What is this Guru Sikh playing in this image? A big tabla, tol, jomse, or nagara? So the answer is big tabla. Okay? I'm joking. <laughs> it's the nagara. Right? <laughs> Sing's face drop, man. Right? Yeah? <laughs> I've never heard about this. What's he be not teaching me at the Godura? Right? So this is called a nagara, a war drum. Okay? So that was what he was playing in the image. Tikaji. Next question. The gut the gatka chakkar was used for what in battle? To blind the enemy, to stop or deflect incoming arrows from the enemies. What's this one saying? Confuse the enemy, make them dizzy. That sounds sick. Or when the AC stopped working, they started spinning it. Right? I didn't make this question. Just to point it out there, yeah? So we know what Hukam Singh does when his AC stops working. Right? He starts spinning. Start spinning the wheel. Oh, yeah. Tika, so what is the Gatka Chakkar used for? Yeah. It's used to stop or deflect incoming enemy arrows. Right? And if you're really hot, use it as an AC as well, right? So that is the answer to that question. Next question, please. Okay then. Quiz. Who brought the head of Guru Teg Bahadurji back to Nampur Sahib? What was the name of that Guru Sikh who brought the head back? Was it Pai Jivala Singh, Pai Joga Singh, Pai Jaita Ji or Pai Lakhi Shaha? Vanajara, you can add on the end as well, right? Who brought the cease back of Guru Teg Bahadur? So if you didn't know, our ninth Guru Guru Teg Bahadur is beheaded in Delhi, uh, gave their cease for another taram for the Hindu faith. And then who brought their head back to Nampur Sahib? Which Guru Sikh did this? 
Hanji. So the answer was yellow by Jetaji. Later in 1699, if you didn't know this, it took Amrit from Guru Gobind Singh Ji. And the name was changed to, anybody know? By Jeevan Singh Ji, Hanji, correct. So they gave Shahidin the battle of Chamkor Sahib as well. Tika. So next question, puzzle again. Put these in order, double points. Place these events in order of Guru Teg Bahadur Ji's travels and giving Shahidi. So it, says, it should say Shahidi. Place in order the travels of the Guru. Okay, from when they were going to go give Shahidi. So you've got Nampur Sahib, leaving a Nampur Sahib, Delhi and Kirapur Sahib. Why? Now that might sound confusing because you've got leaving an Nampur Sahib and Nampur Sahib, but hopefully you'll get that leaving an Nampur Sahib before a Nampur Sahib. Okay? So, put in order. Haji? You get what I'm trying to say. Put these events in order. Of when, From the first thing the Guru said you would have done to the last thing. Okay? I'll give you one clue, maybe. The first thing probably alludes to leaving. Right? So, put these in order. Of the Guru's journey. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. Did they leave? Did they go to Kirapur Sahib? Did they go to Delhi? Did they go to Nampur Sahib? What was the order of Guru Sahib when they left at that time? So they left for Nampur Sahib. They left Nampur Sahib. They went to Delhi. And when Guru Sahib Ji gave Shahidi, the cease was brought back to Kirapur Sahib. Then it was brought back to Nampur Sahib afterwards. Right? So, <laughs> damn, I don't think I got this wrong. Question is weird. Don't blame the question. Blame the answer. Yeah, blame the person who made the questions. <laughs> okay, next question. We know for next time. Uh, don't let Sukhdi make the questions the day before on the day of the quiz. Okay, maybe beyond we got it correct. Okay, before the castle was created in 1699, how were six blessed with Amrit? So we hear about the, the Bata and the Khanda. Um, but what was used before? There's no such thing as taking Amrit before 1699. Drinking Jaran Amrit. There was no blessing, sad face. Or drink a glass of milk. Right? So, what was used? Was there a, a tradition before Guru Saji blessed us with Amrit in 1699? So, the answer is blue. Jaran Amrit. So, there's even historical accounts of first Guru Guru Nanak Dev Ji that when Sikhs would come to Guru Nanak Dev Ji and take upon Sikhi, Guru Saji wash their charan, they'd have an iron bowl, they'd place their feet in that bata, and the Guru Sikhs would drink, drink the Amrit. So it's called charan Amrit. So this thing that we hear today that, oh, Guru Gobind Sikhi made Amritaris before, there's no such thing as Amritari, so I don't need to be Amritari. That's not a thing. All the Sikhs were Amritaris from Guru Nanak Dev Ji's time, but it's just a different way of being initiated. Why? Right? The only thing changed is that from the Guru's charan, from the Guru's uh, feet, you could say, loosely, it was changed into the khanda, and Gurbani is read into it. Again, Guru Sahib is solidifying that tradition after the Gurus left their physical body till the present day, now with the khanda. Double-edged sword. Okay? Okie dokie. Next question. Quiz. After the Panj Pyare, what were the next group of six to be blessed with Amrit known as? So after the Panch Pyare, which group of six were blessed with Amrdi Dat? It's a group, that's a key word. Was it the Panch Beloved Ones? Was it the Char Sebs, are they the sons of the Guru? Which makes a lot of sense. Was it the Panch Mukte? Was it the Charlie Mukte? Which group? That's the key word there. Which group were blessed after the Panch Pyare? Any ideas who it could be? It could be one of these four. That's what I know for sure. Okay, it's one of these four. So the answer oh, is the Panj Mukte, okay? It was not the Chali Mukte, as most of you put, and it was not the Char Sebzade, interestingly. Um, so yeah, okay, and it was not the Panj Beloved ones, because that's the Panj Piyare, right? So it's like they took it twice, kind of thing, right? Okay then, Hanji, next question, please. Puzzle again. Hopefully this is a better puzzle than the one that Hukum Singh made before, yeah? I'm just trolling. Okay. Arrange your following Mughal emperors in order of their uh, rules, starting from the earliest. So who is the first Mughal leader out of these four names here? And then so on. Shah Jahan, Akbar, Jahangir, Aurangzeb. So they're all related as well. 
Okay? So who came first and then so on, who came after them. Put them in order from who came first to who went last and then click enter if you want the points. The quicker you answer it, the more points you're going to get. I just still can't believe you guys didn't get the other question correct. Leave an arm put aside. What was confusing about it? Oh, so you thought they were going on journeys beforehand. That's a fair point. Right, that's a fair point. Chill out. Everyone got it wrong though, so it doesn't matter. Right, you just lose your win streak. Only one person, yeah? I wonder who, did anybody get it corrected? Jello, no one got it corrected. Jello is fine, only one person, I have 144, got it wrong. Okay, okay then. So the order is Akbar, Jahangir, oh, Shah Jahan and Aurangzeb. So Akbar, it did not go to, so after Akbar, his son was called Khusro, but Khusro did not get it, it went to um, his son, Jahangir, and after Jahangir, it went to Shah Jahan, and then after Shah Jahan, it went to Aurangzeb. And Aurangzeb killed his dad. Okay, he put him in a prison, killed his brothers as well. He was a nice guy. Okay, so this is a bit more of a difficult question. Singurubani, Akal Purukki Ratcha Hamane, Sarabaloha Di Ratcha Hamane. Which prayer are these words from? Chandi Di Var, Akal Ustat, Chaupai Sahib, or Jab Sahib. Where does this part come from? Any ideas? Stop asking Hooker for the answers, Hardeep Singh. He doesn't know. Even though he made the question. He, Hardeep Singh goes, I know, right? That's the Nimrata and Hardeep Singh, right? Okay. So, what's the answer? The answer is a Kal Ustat, okay? It comes right at the start of a Kal Ustat, uh, these words, okay? Chandi Diwar Nehiji. Okie dokie. Next question, please. Sahib Singh is in the lead. True or false? There is no mention of a Sakhi in Sikh history before Guru Gobind Singh Ji. There is no mention of Vesakhi before Guru Gobind Singh Ji. Mm. If you guys came to the Katha, you would have known the answer. If you came to Katha, you know the answer. Has the term Vesakhi, this celebration, has he ever mentioned in Sikh history before Guru Gobind Singh Ji? True or false? It says there's no mention. Is that true or is that false? If you go to Singh Sabha live stream, you can watch the Katha quickly, but the answer is false. There is mention of this, but I cannot go into it because there's another question linked to it later on. So the answer is that there is mention of Asaki beforehand as well. Okie dokie. Slider. In what year did Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji give Shahidi? So it says Shahid, it, says, it should say Shahidi. Okay, in what year did our ninth Guru give Shahidi? 16, 17, 18? It's somewhere between 1650 and 1718. And what year did Guru Tegh Bahadur give Shahidi? Wikipedia! It's quick, man. Type it in. You got four seconds. Get your laptop out. <laughs> So the answer, or Siki Wiki, right? What is the answer to this question? When did Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji give Shahidi? Our ninth Guru. 1675 is the year in which Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji gave Shahidi. Tika, again, remember these numbers because there's more questions later on that link to this. Next question, please. Puzzle. 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 Hopefully a better one. Double points. Place the gurus in order of who came first onto this earth. That kind of rhymes, I think. Kind of. Who came on this earth first out of these four gurus and then place them in order of who came next. There's Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Guru Harkishan Sahib Ji, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, Guru Har Rai Sahib Ji. I'll give you a big clue. Guru Har Rai Sahib Ji is our seventh guru. Guru Harkishan Sahib Ji is our eighth guru. And Guru Tegh Bahadur is a ninth Guru and Guru Gobind is a tenth Guru. That's a big clue. Or that's just to confuse you. I don't know. Who came first out of these four Gurus? And then who came after them? Remember, seven, eight, nine, ten. That could be a clue or I could just be confusing you. I don't know. Who came first 
and who came last onto this earth in the physical form? Anybody know? Who came first and who came last? The answer is the first was Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, and then Guru Har Rai Sahib Ji, then Guru Har Krishna Sahib Ji, then Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. Oh, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, sorry. So Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, I think I'm, if I remember correctly, it was um, it's 1678 Bikrami, right? So that's like 1630. Guru Har Rai Sahib Ji came nine years after them. Then Guru Har Krishna Sahib Ji, that's Guru Har Rai Sahib Ji's son. Then Guru Gobind Singh. So Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, even though they are ninth Guru, they were the son of our sixth Guru, Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji. Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji had six children. The eldest child was Guru Baba Gurditta Ji. And if I'm correct, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji was the youngest, or one of the youngest of the five sons. Okay? So then Baba Gurditta Ji's son was who? Hanji. It was Guru Har Rai Sahib Ji. So the eldest son of Guru Teg, of Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji, their eldest son had a child who became the next Guru, Guru Ditta, it comes in the name as well, right? Then their son was Guru Har Krishna Sahib Ji, but Guru Teg Bahadur Ji was the eldest. And like we learned in the Ardas course, that when Guru Har Krishna Sahib Ji became Jyoti Jyot, he said the next Guru said, Babbe Bakale. That the next Guru, my Baba Ji, because that is literally a Baba Ji, because Guru Har Krishna Sahib Ji's Baba Ji, the Dada Ji was... Um, Baba Gurditta Ji and they were the brother of Guru Teg Bahadur Ji so that is also their Baba Ji as well so Guru Hare Krishna Sahib Ji's Baba Ji is Guru Teg Bahadur Ji and um, that meant that they would be cousins who do you think the um, Guru Hare Krishna Sahib would be cousins with? Jar Sahib Sahib right? and that meant that Guru Gobind Singh Ji and Guru Hare Rai Sahib Ji even though they have different eras they were both cousins they would have been cousins right? so it's interesting how the Guru's family tree all links together. It's quite beautiful when you think about it. So Guru Teg Bahadur Ji was on this earth when there was a seventh Guru and there was an eighth Guru and they became the Guru. Right? So when Guru Teg Bahadur Ji, I won't speak too much after this, when Guru um, Har Gobind said, you get the Guru Tagadi to Guru Har Rai Sahib Ji, um, Mata Nanaki Ji said, what about our son Guru Teg Bahadur Ji? And he said, it's not that time yet. That time will be later on. So then Guru said, you went to Bakale Pind, they stayed there for 26 years, 9 months and like 13 days doing Pagati. And then when the six came, Amata Nanak Ji said that you need to become Pargat, you need to manifest because there's so much good, there's so much falsehood. Guru Sahib Ji said, I don't want to come out. Right? They wanted to stay Gupt, but then they had to because it was Vaigaji's Hukam. But that is the order. Well done to the 25, unlucky to the 132. Next question, please. How many questions you got left? About 9 questions to go, guys. Oh, we're running late as well. Okay, slider. Next question. Double points. How many years after Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Shahidi did Guru Gobis and you start the Khalsa Pant? So you were given all the numbers. I hope you remember them. If you don't remember them, watch the live stream and go back. How many years after Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Shahidi did Guru Gobis and you create the Khalsa Pant? It's anywhere between 0 to 50. Okay? Anywhere between that. How many years after? Was it 5 years? 10 years? 15? 22? 23? It was in the five facts. Oh, it was in the five facts video as well. By Paima Preet Singh. So the answer was 24. 1675, Guru Sahib Ji gave Shihidi. 1699, Khasa Pant. That is 24 years if you guys know your maths. Next question, please. At which takht side did Guru Gobind Singh Ji form the Khalsa? So we have Panj Takht here in the Ardas. Was it Takht Siddhi Akal Takht Sahib? Was it Siddhi Kes Gada Sahib? Dam Dama Sahib or Hazur Sahib? Where did the Khalsa punt? Where did they? Where did this take place? The story of 1699. In which year? We don't know which year, say. Which place? Which Takhta Sahib do you remember this for? Any ideas? The answer is a city case Gada Sahib. So, majority got that correct. Surprisingly, quite a few people got the other one. So, case Gada Sahib, which is located in city Anandpur Sahib. Okay? 
Next question, please. Anandpur Sahib is the city, Keskar Sahib is the Asthan. When is the first reference to uh, Vasaki and Guru Tahas? During the time of which Guru? So we spoke about earlier that Vasaki is, wasn't just first mentioned by Guru Gobind Singh Ji. It happened beforehand. But which Guru did it, is it mentioned in? Out of these four Gurus. Is it Guru Gobind Singh Ji? Is it Guru Amar Das Ji? Guru Ram Das Ji? Guru Arjan Dev Ji? Is there any reference to Vasaki before Guru Gobind Singh Ji? In our Sikh history. So the answer is Guru Amar Das Ji. So if you dare downstairs for the Katha, you'll know that Baba Buddha Sahib Ji came to Guru Amar Das Ji and said that the Guru Sikhs, they come and they meet, but they don't know each other. There's no love between the Guru Sikhs. And we should set up this Jod Mela where the Sangat come together and they can do Saad Sangat and they can meet the Guru and take full Laha. And that's when Guru Amar Das Ji started a Jod Mela every single year where well, the Sikhs came to City Goindwa Sahib and they would celebrate, um, they have this Jod Mela during the time of Vasakhi at that time. Right, so that is one of the first references. Then you got Guru Ram Das Ji and Guru Arjun Dev Ji with the Bibi Rajini Sakhi. If you guys don't know the Sakhi, Bibi Rajini Ji whose husband went into the Amr and Sarovar, was just a pond there, and they came out reformed. That happened on the day of Asaki as well, right? Um, many, many years ago. During the time of Guru Arjun Dev Ji. What was the profession of Pai Dayaram Ji? So Pai Dayaram was the name they had before they became Pai Daya Singh Ji. What was their profession? Farmer, shopkeeper, water bearer, or royal attendant? So nice job to have in it, royal attendant. So if you've not watched the Vasaki animation, make sure you check it out on basis of Sikhi. Um, this is the one that's the clips from there. What was by their Ramji's job? What was their role? What was their profession? So they were a shopkeeper. Tika? That was the role of Pai Daya Ramji. Now the questions are getting harder. All right, now you're going to wish, oh, when, what was Vasaki? Right? So these are when they get harder now, these questions. Yeah, you're not going to get more know what's Vasaki, where is it from, all that stuff. Yeah, now it's going to get hard. Next question. Puzzle. The remaining Panj Piyade linked their profession with their name. Singh just got up and walked out. He's like, allow this. Ah, enough. Right? Yeah. So... By, if you can't see this, it's by Tarim Singh Ji, by Himmel Singh Ji, by Moku Singh Ji, by Saib Singh Ji. Link the profession with their names. If you want the answer, watch the animation, it's in there. Okay? Link the profession to the name. Interestingly, if you look at the word royal attendant in Punjabi, it's called a Nyai, and that usually refers to a barber. But they were not barbers. In those days, it was a different terminology. Royal attendant. They would take care of the royal, um, like, those, like the kings. In those days, generally, the kings did not really cut their hair. It was just a thing that they would do, like a, a warrior thing as well, right? So one of them was a royal attendant, cloth printer, water bearer, and farmer. Link the names in order. So the top one is to go by Talam Singh Ji, the next one is by Himmat Singh Ji, and so on. And click enter. Let's see how people got this correct. Ooh, 34 people got this correct. Singh smashed it. I think he's smacking him to say yes or smack him to say no. I don't know which one. Right? So, Hanji, by Tadam Singh Ji was a farmer, by Himmel Singh Ji was a water bearer, by Mokum Singh Ji was a cloth printer, and then by Saib Singh Ji was a royal attendant. Next question, please. We're getting to the end, guys. We only got a few more to go. Type the answer. Double points. Ram Singh, Dehel Singh, Ishir Singh, and Fateh Singh. Sorry, we could put a book by at the start, but the word count was too short. Who is the missing of these four of the five Panj Mukti? Basically, which of the Panj Mukti is missing from this list? Right? So remember, the Panj Mukti, the first five Guru Sikhs who blessed Amr Didat after the Panj Piyare, not the Charlie Mukti. Different, right? Which name is missing? Okay, you could put pai or you can leave the pai out. Okay, not to make it too confusing, right? I'll give you a clue. Something sing. Yeah? Something sing. Don't write something. You won't get the answer. Pai deva sing. Or deva sing. Or deva sing. 13 people got it correct. Nice. Tika. So pai deva sing ji was the last of the panj mukti. Hanji. That was the name not mentioned. 
Okay, next question. Multiple select, there's more than one correct answer. Which of these items is used to prepare Amrit? There should only be one correct answer. I don't know why it says multiple select. I'm sorry about that, guys. But just click one answer to get it correct. Which of these items is used to prepare the Amrit in the Bata? Is it the first image? Is it the second image? Is it the third image? Or is it the fourth image? I'm being very specific there. Which item is used to prepare the Amrit? Okay? In the Bata. Which one is it? One, two, three, four. Something dropped. Okay? The answer is four. And that is called a Kanda. The double edged sword. Next question, please. How many questions have you got left? Two more. Okay, Gurjap is in the lead. Then seek to inspire. Double points. What is the name of this Gurdwa Sahib? It's a video. Any ideas? What this Gurdwa Sahib is called? Is it sound? It sounds just like um, Bhai Nishan Singh Ji is talking about the Gurdwa. He might give the answer in it as well. What is the name of this Gurdwara Sahib? Is it Nampur Sahib, Bipaur Sahib, Gurdwara, Kes Gara Sahib, or Banda Kaat Sahib? The, what is the answer <laughs> to this question? I didn't do that. You can't say Sukhdeep Singh does not help you. That's what I can say. All right? That makes up for the other question, the other weird puzzle one. Okay? If you, if you can't be Guru Mukhi, then you probably didn't get that either. Unless you didn't see the screen. Beautiful Godara Sahib. I was blessed to go there recently. Very beautiful day. Only about 20 minutes from Anandpur Sahib. So that's how you know it's Anandpur Sahib. The answer to this question is Bipaur Sahib. Why? Right? This is where Guru Gobind Singh recited Siddhi Chaupe Sahib. Last question. Very hard question. You guys ready? Okay, this is the decider who's going to win. Slider, what year in the Bikrami calendar was Osaki first celebrated? So not in the, this Gregorian calendar, in the Bikrami calendar, in what year was Osaki celebrated? Google, man. One day I'll get on Google quickly, man, and find the answer. I'll give you a clue in the last five seconds, okay? The Bikrami calendar is the Gregorian cal um, calendar plus a number. That number is 57. Okay, you plus 57 to the, the normal day, you'll get your answer. Of when Vasaki took place, it took place in 17 something. 17? 56. So it's actually 56.7 years ahead. And that was the year which Vasaki took place in the Bikrimi calendar. 10 people got that correct. Okie dokie. So finish off the quiz, we come to the end. Let's find out who came in third. Sing Har 60.99. Seek to inspire in second again. Is that you? Oh, you're third. Oh, Tika. And then first, Gurjab Singh. Is that you? Who's Gurjab Singh? Not here? Just online. So, okay. So, congratulations to all three play, um, members. Um, contact us for your prizes. I think the winner, screenshot your um, winning screen as well. I think the winner gets the basis of Sikki Bag, the new one. It's quite a cool prize. So thank you guys. We'll finish off a bit of Kirtan. Is that okay? we we'll do a Kirtan for about five, ten minutes. And then we'll just do some casting the seva. And then that's all. Please go with Guru Sahib too, Saj Khan. Thank you for your time. Sorry for the mistakes made in the quiz. Um, it was a bit of a last minute thing, so apologies. Thank you to Hukam Singh for all his work. I'm um, just putting a, a basic quiz together beforehand. And to all the seva as well. Why Guruji Ka Khalsa? Why Guruji Ki Fateh?
ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਹਰ ਸੱਜਣ ਸੁਆਮੀ ਮੋਰਾ ਹਰ ਸੱਜਣ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਬਿਰਦ ਸਦਾਏ ਪਤਤ ਪਾਵਨ ਇੱਕ ਤਿਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਭੰਨੇ ਕਾਲੇ ਇੱਕ ਤਿਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਭੰਨੇ ਕਾਲੇ ਘਟ ਘਟ ਵਾਸੀ ਸਰਬ ਨਿਵਾਸੀ ਸਦਾ ਸਰਣਾਗਤ ਹਰ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਸਜਣ ਮੇਰਾ ਮਿਠ ਬੋਲ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ 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 ਵਾਹਿ